In today's video, I'm going to embroider on this super, super nice looking beanie here. So you could see this has extra, extra fluff. We got the pom-pom on top. This beanie here is a Richardson. So this is super, super good quality beanie here. And what I want to show you here today is the easiest, the fastest, the most efficient way to hoop beanies. Here you can see I have three different setups here. This setup here is really the most popular one here. This is the freestyle hoop, the 5.5. And to me, this is like my go-to, okay? But I do wanna show you other ways with uh, different types of scenario. Here, cutaway, I'm using uh, from Allstitch the C030. This is the three ounce. This is the important thing here, okay? If you're using this uh, station here, the 5.5 freestyle hoop station, okay? This is important here. You wanna use size eight by eight cutaway. Of course, we're putting our hoop down here in the beginning. We're going to put our backing here. All right, nothing too complicated. So, so far, we can probably do this with our eye closed. Now, it's time to set up our beanie. This is really where we gotta start thinking, okay? We gotta, we really wanna make sure when we hoop this, we hoop it correctly, we hoop it straight. The first thing we wanna do, we wanna locate our front center. Very important, a beanie has a backside and a front side, believe it or not. Okay, here on this one, it's pretty simple to kind of figure out which is your, um, your front, your back. Okay, we have the tag and we have this line here showing us that this is the backside. So this will be our front side here. So now we know this is our front side. We wanna grab our masking tape. Very simple masking tape, nothing too complicated. We have a ton of this stuff here in the shop and it's just super useful. Okay, really I could eyeball it and just see that this, this rib right here, that's my center line here. But what I wanna do, put that here, the middle. So usually I'll just use a regular pin, but here so you can see it, I'm using a Sharpie right here, okay? But what I wanna do right here, I wanna put the letter F for front. So when I'm hooping it, I know exactly the correct side my design should be facing, okay? So this is facing up. I know this part here is my center. You could even put a little dot in between to show you that rib is the center. Another way to make sure you are centered, okay? You could have a ruler, a centered ruler to verify. So this beanie here is showing it's about eight inches wide. So really we wanna center these two arrows at the four inch, bam, all right. Kind of where my dot is, all right. So I'm good, verified, center. So just as an FYI, everything I'm using here, I'll link it. So you could go ahead and check out all the details on everything that I'm using, all right. So, so far, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. Now, what we wanna do, we wanna flip this beanie inside out. Okay, I'm just taking care of this front side here my tape okay and eventually you're gonna get to the point where you don't really have to uh, mark your front side you're gonna kind of have uh, just muscle memory here want to make sure how can I make sure this line is super straight right first we can pick this you could pick this center line here all right and then when when you let go it'll keep it straight there to keep this line here straight what I'll do, I'll just put, I'll just use my guide here, this ruler, okay. Bam, put it in here. So now I know this line is straight and I'll just line up my beanie right here. Okay, if you wanna pull this up one more time. Okay, bam. All right, and like I said before, eventually this will become second nature where you're just doing this automatic. There are times, especially if you have help, if you have anybody helping you working on beanies, there are times where you wanna have these guides just to make life easy and to verify that everything is straight. Now the magnets are gonna do all the heavy lifting here. Once we're lined up here, this is the easiest part here, okay? Is where we just, bam, smash it down and pull it out, okay, carefully. All right, now this is the sweet part. So here, look at this, super straight, very minimum thinking here, okay? That's the name of the game. You don't wanna burn your brain out, trying to figure stuff out, trying to line stuff up. This is the main part that I like about the Mighty Hoop here. Here, this hoop is holding my garment in three positions, okay? I got here, the left side, the top, and the right side, okay? 
There are other ways to hoop beanies. This is probably the most secure, most stable way to actually hoop a beanie. Especially something like this. There's a lot of fluff. Okay, we're looking at a lot of fluff right here. We don't want to, we want to make sure our registration holds throughout the whole design. Another thing I could tell that I'm straight, look at this, my ribs here, they're just falling straight with the hoop. All right, so I know we're good here. Now, before I put it on the machine, let me show you these other stations here, because every now and then you might find yourself with certain situations where you got to use different equipment. Okay, this station here, let's say you don't have the 5.5. You have like your regular hoop that came with the machine. It's all good. You could still use it. You use this station here. So you see, right? It's 4.25 by 13. Really, this fits pretty much almost all the hoops right here. Okay. So depending what hoop you have. So let's say, for instance, let's say you're going to do like a baby beanie or some type of like smaller type of garment. Okay, we could put this smaller one. So this is the 4.25 Mighty Hoop. Of course, sky's the limit because you could use like extra big hoops. Really, you could just move it all around. But let's go ahead, let's put this on the machine and let's stitch it out. Because I always get this question, like which uh, bobbins do we use, all right? This is it right here. Just make sure they are size L. I'm gonna trace it, make sure I'm within boundaries. Now it's safe to take off this tape. Even though this tape's not gonna pull too hard, I still kind of push down to make sure, you know, nothing gets out of place. Slant it out a little bit. Of course, the best part of embroidery is pushing start. So let me make sure I got you guys on a good angle. Let's go ahead, let's push start. So real quick, this file is available for free download. And just an FYI, as an underlay, since it's beanie, I'm using an edge run with a double zigzag underlay. Also, I have a promo code for Mighty Hoop. So for free shipping, use promo code Romero. And I have all the details in the description, so you can check that out. So this is how it looks, fresh off the hoop. All right, I'm going to be super honest with you all. And this is looking super, super fresh right here. All right, I ain't even gonna lie, like this color with this. All right, now let's go ahead, let's do all the cleanup. All right, make sure you get some good all purpose scissors. All right, you really don't wanna be using your nice, clean, super sharp embroidery scissors. Let's talk about some little small details as in placement of your design. Okay, so you can see here, I can I kind of have one finger space here, one finger space here. All right, we want to have stuff symmetric. We want to make sure stuff looks clean, in order. This file here had about 3,200 stitches. So relatively very, very low amount of stitches, especially for something with this type of impact. This is four inches wide. Okay, so we are good distance here, and it's almost one inch high. So we're looking at a good size right here. I'll try to give you uh, different angles of it, all right? All right, thank you for stopping by. Peace out, everybody.